Hey guys, Darth Clark here, back with part 5 of our Skyrim Remastered playthrough. So, last time, uh, we did things, for sure. No, uh, last time we worked a lot on companion quests, and we, uh, we officially became a werewolf. That was something else that happened last time. We got more settled into our house, continued to add lots of loot, we discovered lots of locations, we got lots of dragon souls, we found shouts, lots of good things happened there. Now we are standing in front of this mission, which is stealing plans, because obviously the Silverhand managed to actually kill Skior, and obviously Ayla's pissed. So, uh, me and her now, our plan together is we are going to slay the Silverhand, as many of them as we can find, and they will tremble at our sight, which is Ayla's words, not mine. And, uh, that's the plan. So, we are going to steal plans, uh, we could track down their chief hideout, because that'll help us, you know, kill them all. And so here we are. So we are standing in front of one of their little bases here. And that's where we saved it last time. And uh, we also got a dwarven bow. Lots of other really cool shouts and things. But we are going to sneaky sneaky our way up here. And we'll see uh, how well this goes. We'll try to do as much sneaking as we can. But we won't get too gung-ho with it. We get we get caught, we'll just massacre him. It'll be that simple. We're not going to be sweating it too badly. Come on. There we go. I was about to say, I know you want to give it to me, boy. Boy. Okay. So that's what we're dealing with. There's my sneak getting increased. BTW. Alright, so there's some dude way down there. Which I could probably shoot him from here. I don't know. I don't want to go too high. But I'll, he'll have to walk and stop again before I can hit him. But I don't know. Maybe right there. Maybe a little lower. Probably not any lower. Yeah, probably something about right there. He's walking slow enough, I might be able to hit him while he's walking, but... At the same time, it would be simpler if he would just not. Oh, well, if he's gonna stand right there, I can, I can take that. I'll take it. If I wait too much longer, though. Aww. For some reason, I missed. I don't know if I was too high or too low or what the issue was there, but I really felt like that was a good one. I was feeling good about that. Alright, now I'm watching see if they hop down there or not. That's right. You just cool your jets, everybody. Why it work, didn't work? I won't. I don't know, but I, I could have been too low. I could be, could be misjudging this distance. Yeah, taunting me with the fact that he's just standing right there. All right, now that one I understand. I was wondering if it was gonna curve down a little bit. All right. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Now I can hit you. <laughs> Yeah, that one was too high, I know. Alright. Nice whiff, idiot. That's for you. Oops. Dead. Well, I mean, I got one of them. I had a couple of missed shots, but I got one of them as soon as they jumped down. Yes, it is very funny. And I like Silverhand and Bandits better when they're dead, so, you know. There we go. I finally got you, you little punk. Me and this dude having this... And he didn't even know it, but we were having this duel of, I want to shoot you, but I'm having trouble. And I'll, I'll go around, because I, I can't get in from there, but... But man, when I find that entrance, you guys are going down. Uh, it's probably like super heavily locked, right? Man. There's probably another way in, but we'll give it the old college try. We'll see. Wow. All right. <laughs> Shows you what I know. All right. I made it in, everybody. I found a gate that was locked, but, you know, such things mean nothing to me. I I heard something. You did hear something. I'm coming for that booty. Yeah, you better keep shooting at me. So far, you missed. Well, I heard you miss again. Oh, there you are. Do it. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow, that's a great dodge. That was bad timing on my part. <laughs> I shot right as he missed, right as he jumped down. Well, come on. Let's see it. Yeah? Well, suck on this, true Nord. Mercy. Punk. Did you give any mercy to Skewer? I don't think so. 
Well, it looks like you know your answer about my about if me if I'm gonna give you mercy. Ooh, I found a key. Aw, you couldn't have been unlocked. Come on, I found the key. Wow, another easy one. They're just handing me these right now. I still don't know the way up, though. That's the real problem. Oh, there you are, Mr. Archerman. Yeah. All right, now that you finally hit me, you should be proud. All right, you missed me that time. And I'm rapidly gaining on you. you won't leave alive. There we go. I mean, there was lots of swings there with very little contact, but it worked. Oh, that explains why it hurt so bad. He was shooting orcish arrows at me. Well, that explains it. That explains why I actually saw health move when he shot me. Normally, you barely see it, because iron arrows don't hurt that bad. TBH. Let's see, how the freak do you get up here? Uh, I, feel, I feel like the NPCs know more than I do. They know something I don't. Because I feel like we're still kind of on the outside, though. That's the problem. Like, is there, like, a, a, a hidden anything? Oh, oh, there we go. You go around. I got you. It couldn't have been simpler. <laughs> Give them the dogs, boys. Hey. A bad time to get lost, you realize I've been slaughtering your guys, like, really close by. And you didn't think to care? There's also a couple of dogs down below, but unless they get hike their booties up here. <laughs> What's wrong, puppy? Are you stuck inside the thing, Mr. Pit wolf. Ugh. Yeah. Can't get me now. Is there another one out there? Looks like it. Expert. Unless unless this key I have opens it. Oh. Convenient. I was about to say, I'm not picking that. Alright, he's probably upstairs. Alright, well this one's locked, but it's a novice lock, so. There you go, see? Looks like I had a key, it was so simple. All right, now we can go up and go say hi to this guy. Whoever he is. Oh. Gonna be honest, I 100% expected him to be up here. Oh, maybe he's below or maybe he's outside. I'm not really sure. Whatever. I also know that I'm not gonna spend my whole life looking for him. Whatever. Oh, don't fall. All right, go, we're good. What? It's all just a circle and I'm still not up at the higher parts. I disagree. Oh, hang on. Maybe you go to this and then there's another little stairwell that leads up onto the wall. Oh. We're good. We've solved it, everyone. Don't jump down. Hi. Shut up, wolf. Ah, now there is someone at the top of this one. You're the one down there killing all my wolves. Yep. And I die for that. I'm that one. Ah. There you are, Mr. Bandit Chief. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect that. If he actually hits me, he might he might kill me with a power attack. I'm gonna be honest, I was not respecting you. If we're gonna be completely when you're dead. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Alright, that hurt. Woo! Wow, that was bad juju, man. That hurt. Yeah, Orcish Warhammer of Thunderbolts. Man. Boy, howdy. That didn't feel good. But we got him. We're good. All's well that ends well, as it were. Rolls of paper. It's a random garbage. That's a random garbage. I don't know why I had to say it like that. Wait, books. I need books. I have a bookshelf to fill at home. Also, Red Eagle Sword. And a skill book that I probably already have. Oh, nope. Didn't have that one. All right. Silver Hand Stratagem. And other fun things. Ooh. Another book. Turn to Ayla. Also lockpicking. And I didn't have that one either. Yeah, man. Level up. Alright. So we're at 150, 150, 120. So let's go ahead and raise Magicka to 130. Because I like it kind of trailing me by a little bit. 
All right, so let's see. One-handed, we could just raise overall damage. We also could lower the cost of uh, power attacks, which would be really good. Archery-wise, we could go up to, you know, zooming in or critical hits. Armor, we could go up to this one, which is a bonus if you're wearing a set. But that's only helpful for certain armors because I don't often wear helmets. It's more rare for me to do so. We could go up to one of these, which is noise from armor reduced or sneak attack from one-handed weapons now do more damage in general. Uh, let's see, lock picking. We could just reduce the how you know makes lo novice locks e novice locks easier to pick and kind of be working up that tree, and kind of start that direction. We also could do the first thing of speech technically, but it's much more likely to be doing other things. Okay, let's see. I think lowering the cost of uh, power attacks with one-handed weapons is going to be very convenient. Cause yeah, this way when I you know do this. See what I mean? Normally that takes like, you know, that takes all that takes most of my stamina doing that. But hey, it'll take a lot less now. Very cool. Alright, well let's go return to uh, Ayla, my love, and uh, tell her, hey man, I done diddly did it. And uh, you know. The silver hand I mean more silver hand, there's that there's a there's a lot of them. But uh some some more of the silver hand are dead. Just the what you know, which is my favorite way, my which is my favorite state that silver hand are. I like them the most when they're dead, so works out for well for all of us. All right, now we can go move on. You can tell I always go to the. You can tell because I always nail those jumps. It's because I uh, I have always done that whenever I'm going to the companions. I um, spawn in at your at uh, Dragon's Reach and then I hop to the first stone, hop to the second one, and then you're over. Because it it saves you a little bit of time and. I'm a busy. I'm a busy lady. I got things to do. <laughs> Ayla. Have you been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand, friend? I wish I could be there with you. Soon enough. I've got the plans. Perfect. Hopefully, this will let us know more about their movement. I think we've got them on the run. Hopefully so. What's the next target? I've been hearing rumors of Silver Hand activity. A group of them is holed up in Hialmarch. Run fast, my friend. When Sounds good, my love. To the old Mary Dominion, they shamed us all. Too real. All right, assassinate the Silver Hand leader. Real warrior, huh? <laughs> I got you trapped. All right, sorry. I'll stop torturing the old man, Greymane. All right, good stuff. Let's see. I wonder if we should go do start this one, considering we're right here. All right. So this mission, I actually should do more of this so this is missing in action so if you guys remember uh, pretty early on this this one of the gray main women was was talking about how one of her sons missing and she knows and she's convinced that the uh, battleborns are responsible and the battleborns are like you know you're just a stupid old woman or whatever so you know yeah no and who knows there could be something in it for us wink wink also look how pretty the tree is Words can't express what that means to this city. Oh, you're welcome. You Look how pretty it looks. Very often. Look how pretty it what is. Saying, of course you don't. Oh, shut up, Nazim. You know what's wrong with Skyrim. Excuse me, excuse me. Anyway, you can see how pretty that tree looks now. All right, let's go talk to her. Be like, yo. Welcome to our home. Thank you. Brother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Want to go? I will knock you out, boy. She's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know she's not spying for the Battleborn? Do I look like this the Battleborn to you? We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, mother. Smart move. You lost. I mean, you lost. You brought me so, here. You're here to help. I'm not even sure what's going on. My brother Thorold. He was fighting for the Stormcloaks and went missing. Everyone assumes he's dead. But he's not. I just know it. The Imperials captured him, and they're holding him someplace. The Battleborns know where. I'd go and search their house for proof, but they want me to. I'd be captured, and then we'll never know what happened to him. So I need someone to find that proof for me. What proof do you need? Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. 
I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. All right. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. Okie dokie. I don't know if I should wait till nighttime or if I should go in now. Because technically, they're all going to be away from the house. I mean, more, more of them than at nighttime, right? I could just try and talk into some of the Battleborns. Hang on. I wonder if we should give that some thought. Normally what I just do is I just break in. Is, uh, I wait till nightfall, I break in, and then I just poke, start poking around. And then we just see. And then I just see what I can find. But I probably could just find some Battleborns. Hey, I'm as much a Nord as the next man, but I'm uh, no fool. I don't live in the past like those gray maids. Yeah, I'm not, not even going to bother to bring that up. That's just going to piss him off. Let's see, where, where's the, there, there's two normal battle, battle boards. There we go, you're one of them. You, well met, Traveler. What brings you to Whiterun? Uh, I seek my fortune. Ah, so it's gold you're after then. Mm-hmm. You need only ask about it. Plenty of folk in Whiterun with too much fat and gold to be bothered doing anything for themselves. Uh, you live here? Aye, that I do. Half all my life, we Battleborns have been here since the beginning, along with the Grey Maze. Our family's been closest kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. I agree. They are saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there. That's a real problem. Let's see. Uh, maybe we'll ask this guy. He seems pretty adjusted. Uh, what do you know about Thorald Greymane? Oh, come on. Leave it alone. He's gone. There's no use in talking about it anymore. I wish everyone could just get past that and get on with their lives. Alright, solid. That went well. May your sword be sharp. And your tongue sharper. Thanks there, uh, brother. I'm telling Not you, you. I know you're an idiot. Let's see. Hey, are you the other normal Battleborn? Come to chat with an old no, woman. that's not you. There's there is two normal battle Battleborns. There's the there's John, and there's the other one. And the other one is a woman. I don't remember what she looks like, but I know her last name's Battleborn, so I guess that narrows it down. <laughs> maybe we'll look at the maybe we'll look at the uh, at the I would say at the end. Hey, are you happen to be my daughter? Yes, you are. It's just like, it's like, hey, is that Lucia? <laughs> yes, it is. Sorry, excuse me. It's Pardon me. No, oh, don't be such a wuss. You wouldn't get pushed around. Uh, I don't think that's you. I, isn't the other, I think the other one was was young. She's a battleborn, but I think she was like super. She was like young. I think. I think. Like I said, I don't know her first name or what she looks like, but. I thought she, I think, I mean, not specifics, but I think she was young. Hey, are you, are you her? No, it's Greymane. What about you? No? Obviously, I know you're not. And there ain't nobody back here. Interesting. No. Oh. I'm not ready for that. You look like someone who can hold their liquor. Nope. How about a friendly con? I'm not ready for your quest yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that's another... It, it leads to things, and no, I'm not ready for it yet. Eventually we will be. It's pretty funny, actually. It's a great quest. It's funny and everything, but alas. The, uh, yeah, I don't, know where that, I don't know where that woman is. I mean, it could be the older one. It could be this one, but I, just, I thought it was someone young. Can you believe those pathetic gray oh, names? nope. Yeah, not them. <laughs> not her. I was about to say, I thought she was young. She was like... Uh, yeah, she's on the younger side of things, but I don't know what she looks like specifically, which is a, a problem. There's some random people, but yeah. We kill the dragon once, we can do it again. With your help, of course. Yeah, you better hope I help you, otherwise you guys will die. I mean, I could just break in. Like I normally do. I, like, hire Amrin to help me break in. Oh yeah, you're the alpha idiot, Battleborn. Alright then. Let's, uh, is there, a, is there a back entrance? There is. Okay, let's do this then. 
Oops. Let's go ahead and give it a save. In case I get attacked or whatever and I have to reload a save because I broke in. And then we'll just... We'll see, we'll see what we see. Well, there was no Im immediate movement, so that's good. Plus, at this hour, they'll be awake, right? So that should help. <laughs> yeah, I'm just tempted. To, I'm tempted to rob them absolutely blind, but... I can open it. I can pick and pick this one, I swear. Oh. Ah! Well, at least I found the area that it's in. It's to the... Little bit to the left. Nope, too far. I think it's like right there. Ah, it's like I could see the numbers in the matrix. Got him. All right. Uh, it has come to my attention that inquiries have been made as to the whereabouts of one Thorald Greymane. It is my duty to inform you that, th that Thalmor agents have taken possession of the prisoner and have escorted him to Northwatch Keep. I don't think I need to elaborate. It is in everyone's best interest if the matter is dropped entirely. I trust there will be no further inquiries on this matter. General Tullius. Filthy traitors. All of them. Filthy traitors. All of them. All right, well, now let's see if we can get out of here without getting shot. I think I can actually make it out the front entrance. As it turns out, breaking in in the, in the daytime is the wisest decision. You think I step out and they just watch me to step out of their, their front door? <laughs> They're like, what the? <laughs> I was like, I can explain that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, I can explain that, I swear. Hey, I found your proof, and I only had to break in to do it. But to be fair, they didn't lock their door. That's not my fault. Do you have news? Did you find something? I have proof that Thorald lives. I knew it. Let me see, please. The Thalmor. By the Nine. It's worse than I thought. So, Northwatch Keep. Then we know where to hit him. Uh, you're going to assault Northwatch Keep? I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Thorald can't be left to those monsters. Uh, let's see. You stay hidden. I'll take care of this. Are you sure? I doubt you stand a chance against the Thalmor. You are going to get in the I way. I have a group of men ready at a moment's notice. Many would be willing to help rescue my brother. I'm sure I'll bring him back myself. Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. I don't know why. It's because I can find him and have at least have a shot of getting in some damage while sneaking, and I know you can't. Because you guys will just, you know, it'll just, it'll. I can do it better, and it's easier for me if you're just not in the way. Trust me. Okay. Okay. Divine smile on you, friend. Thanks, bro. So we're gonna go ahead and run over here and drop off some uh, loot. Drop off some loot before we head on out. Might as well reduce the weight while we're in town. You know what I mean? Look, Mama, I have a new friend. I can't. It's a fox. Could I keep him, please? It is a tiny little fox. All right, but you're responsible for him. You're the best. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, she uh, found a little fox. It's so cute. I mean, hey, you know, as long as you take care of him, go for it. Not that one. The lower shelf. Thank you. I was about to say, I know I have room on the lower shelf. I can look at it right there and tell you. There we go. We can drop off those. Okay. Now, as far as sellable items, I don't know. Yes, we do. We have at least a little bit. I was about to say, I couldn't remember if we had dropped off loot from when we were out and about. Turns out we haven't, because we have lots of goodies. Oh, wait, so you guys get closer to your room, so I don't... Accidentally have you be like, yes? Or what? What do you want? There we go. We'll drop off all of those. Actually, did I look at that treasure map? Or is that like a... Oh yeah, we already got that. Beautiful. Darn it all. Wrong game. Sorry. <laughs> I've been playing other games that X is a very different button. Alright, uh, let's see. In this one, it is not X, it is A. A is the is the button of importance. 
All right, we have drop off all the bear, all those, all of the bone, the scales, the ingot, the iron, other ore, pelts. <laughs> drop off Meridia's beacon. You can like hear Meridia's voice from like way far away. She's like, hey, don't you store my beacon in like some drawer? Like it's important. We're like, yeah, yeah. It's like blah, 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 Meridia's beacon, Daedric, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, I could see if we have any of these, so maybe we'll hold on to that. And we'll see if we can get rid of them. If we can't, maybe we'll just sell them, maybe we'll keep them, I don't know. Alright, extras. We don't need Cure Disease or that, because we are immune to such things anyway. We don't need Restored Magicka, because we just don't need, we just don't use them. We'll keep, we'll keep, of course, our usual ten, but we don't need any more than that. Beautiful. Alright. Let's go see if we can, uh... If we can, like, whatever the word is, dismantle, disenchant these things. Something else that'll be nice about having a different house once I buy one and, like, you know, once I buy one and once I, uh, and once I build it, is normally I, one of the wings is a enchantment tower, which is one of the wings of the house that you can build. And it's all very enchantment focused. Um... It's all very enchantment focused, and so there's obviously an enchanting table. Plus, even if you don't build one, you can actually build an enchanting table in your main room. Even like even so, so you have even more options. And uh, and but I like I usually like build, building a whole wing to it. It's more aesthetically pleasing. But anyway, the point is we'll have options, and so uh, yeah, the point is uh, we'll have options, and so it will be nice for me because uh, because then we won't have to be making these weird trips to you know. To uh, disenchant things or whatever, it'll be more convenient once we have a house built. So that'll be nice. But yeah, that's good. We actually got to uh, dis disenchant both of them, which is good. Which is good. More more experience for us. All right. Now we can go ahead and highlight that, and we can uh, actually work our way that direction. It's very far away from anything we've seen so far. So we'll have to pretty much go to the Lover's Stone and go north. Methinks will be the. Uh, will be the course of action, I assume, right? Because there's there's the Statue of Meridia, by the way. I mean, yeah, I suppose suppose we could. I mean, we also don't have to do this right now, either. You know what I mean? We could, we, we could just wait, because there's no... You, there's not actually any real, you know... You don't really get in trouble, so... Yeah, maybe we'll just wait on that. Uh, where is our Dalmor Leader assassination missing? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that one is much closer. Let's do that. Because, yeah, I am trying to kind of focus on the companion stuff this time around anyway, so that works out. I am trying to focus on the companion stuff, so that makes sense. It makes sense to stick with that. Okay. I wonder if we should go to that little cabin over here first, because that, that over there will be a giant camp. And uh, not overly interested in pissing off some giants. Not to say we, could, we couldn't win now, because I bet you we could. But, you know, doesn't mean you want to piss them off unnecessarily. You know what I mean? Hopefully you can get to this little place after the, uh, after these rocks. Otherwise I'll be jumping like an idiot trying to get over these rocks when there was a much easier way. I don't know, this, this is looking pretty, it's looking pretty doable. Oh yeah, we're good. Is this a friendly place, perchance? I mean, there's a skeever problem. Whoa! Back, you little... Well, they have a skeever problem. But, obviously, it doesn't mean anything to me, of course, because, uh... What was this place called, anyway? I can do it. Just trying to find the map. Lund's Hut. Well, Lund has a, uh, skeever issue. But, of course, I am otherwise preoccupied. I have a mission. I don't have time to be dealing with this dude's skeever problems. Hey, little wolves. You want to fight? Just like that. Thank you for the pelt. Thank you for the pelt. And thank you for the pelt. I'm glad we had this talk. It's... You know, eventually what we could do is uh, transform into a werewolf. Because the werewolf uh, has a uh, tree, a perk tree. And I think that there's like 11 of them total or something. And uh, 
the werewolf perk tree is that we could, you know, work on maxing that out at some point. It's surprisingly, it's not that hard to max out. What? Oh. Can't you people see him in the middle of something? Aha! Bet you your little archer friend didn't expect that. Didn't realize you were fighting the dragonborn, did you? Got him. Right, there's a fourth one, though. I can see him dancing on the map. I can smell you coming off the elevator. Place that reference. I believe in you. Well, there's the bow. Where'd the actual person go? I know there's one over there, but... Oh, there they are. They slid down after I hit her in the face with a fire shout. Alright. Hey. We found you. You're the filthy coward hiding in the rocks, thinking I didn't see you. Hi. <laughs> Alright, good talk. Thanks for the arrows. Moving on. Anyway, but yeah, sometimes it's, it is nice to max out the werewolf tree because it makes you a lot more powerful as you do so, which is super cool. So at some point, we could do that. And the it's not that hard to max out, honestly. You just, like, transform, and you pretty much just run around Skyrim until you, you know, killing anything that you can. And to, to level it up, you just have to eat hearts is what you have to do. So at first, you can only eat hearts of human things, like, you know, things that have, things that have normal hearts. You can't you, uh, eat animals. It doesn't count. But eventually, there is a perk which I always go straight for, which which means you can eat uh, eat animals' hearts and it counts, which helps it even more so. And uh, then you just run around, and I usually do it in like a few a few sets. So basically, you just transform and then you just run and you hit a few locations, and then it extends the length in which you can stay a werewolf and you know stuff like that. You, is usually what I do, and it seems to seems to go well. It's worked for me in the past so eventually we will be d we'll be doing that because we want our werewolf perks to be super awesome to be super awesome do -do -do -do. we're almost there whoa holy crap you scared the crap out of me you stupid cat man you scared me to death you stupid thing gee whiz give me that pelt I earned that Oh my gosh, I'm going to be honest, I jumped really bad. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I know an easy way to cross this. There you go, just like that. Okay. Knock, knock. Alright, let's go ahead and, oops, equip fire breath. Ow! Stupid bear trap. Alright. Grab my dwarven bow. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. All right. The sneaking has begun. No reaction. Oh, so there's the reaction. At first, there was no reaction. Here they come. Oh, I almost got him as they as they walked away. Oh, it like it like whiffed like barely over her head, dude. There we go. Got her that time. It was funny too, cause that, it was funny cause it gave you the kill cam, but yeah, I like missed by half a centimeter. I saw the arrow fly past her head in the, uh, it, yeah, I saw the arrow fly past her head in, like, the kill cam. That was funny. It's like, nope, not actually as close as you thought, unfortunately. Silver hand scum. All right, we don't want your crappy dagger or anything else. We don't want your super crappy dagger. I will take the arrows though. Thank you, sport. Like that, I don't want the shield or any of those weapons. All right, the leader. 
Dun dun. Dun. <laughs> so it's sneaking up on him. Hey, you feel that? Hi. Got him. Want to have an archer duel? You'll lose. See? <laughs> and just like that, I beat them all with just a bow. And my sometimes accurate shooting. Hey, Dwarven Helmet. I, I am missing that piece of that armor. I'll take it. Eventually, we're going to need armor sets to decorate my house. I'll take those. I don't want any of those. I'll take that. Actually, I will take that. Silver sword. Alright, what was that? It was Bandit's Journal. Bandit's Journal. Uh, damn those giants. Just one mammoth would feed us for a month, but they herd them around like prized cattle, never taking an eye off them. We've hunted this area dry. Unless we get a kill soon, we'll have to find somewhere else to camp. Oh well. Life ain't easy for a pimp. Just trying to make money for the rent, as they say. <laughs> it's a stupid joke in my family. We always just reference it. Reference the song, because it's, honestly, it's just, it's a really dumb song. It's a really dumb line, too. But, it's just really funny. <laughs> So my family, as a joke, is always making the reference. Okay. Beautiful. I don't know if they'll have anything good up here, but... I do know that we're gonna look anyway. Take those. I don't need the war axe. Or the sword. I do need the money, though. Uh, I don't need the hide boots. We could take hide armor eventually, but we don't actually need to right now. But at some point, we actually could. Uh, bow of burning. I'll take both of those. We might be able to disenchant them. We'll see. We will see. Ooh. Secret area. Oh, it's not a secret area. It's just a, a quick shortcut back to the entrance. Oh, hey, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's too bad that, like, to specialize in one armor, because the only disadvantages of, like, you know, like, alright, I'm gonna wear light armor, is honestly, there is some cool heavy armors. The problem is, it's just not conducive to the playstyle, right? Because it seems weird to go for, let's say, you know, as an example, it seems weird to, you know, go for dual-wielding daggers, like we are, but wear heavy armor, which makes you slower and heavier, right? So if you're gonna wear heavy armor, it makes sense to do something heavier, like shield and sword, or, you know, shield and anything anything else, or two-handed, or two -handed, you know what I mean? If you're gonna wear heavy armor, it makes a lot more sense to do something that makes, you know, that's more conducive. But if you're going for speed, like all the speed, so you're gonna use daggers and, you know, light armor, it makes sense to wear, you know, the light armor, because it's all about your, it's all about your, how quickly you can move, you know, which is my favorite way to play. But every once in a while, I do want to shake it up. I want to wear heavy armor, go like, you know, uh, sword and shield, something like that, you know, that type of thing. We're not doing it for YouTube, but, you know, every once in a while, I think, man, there is some cool heavy armors. But, you know. I've been running interference for you around here. I don't think anyone's caught on to our little campaign yet. I took care of that group of Silverhand. Excellent. Looks like you've really driven them into hiding. Keep this up. We'll wipe them out yet. Uh, let's see. Looking for work. And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlack's gotten wind of our recent efforts. He's asked to see you. My advice? Always be honest with the old man. But don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Oh, I got you. Wink, wink. Alright. Let's go talk to Codlack. Be like, hey, uh, hey there, old timer. <laughs> Just trying super hard to stay relaxed, even though you're super nervous. Hey, hey there, buddy. H how's it going? He's like, so what, what you up to? It's like, uh, just doing work. <laughs> let me sit down for, let me, let me knock over everything on your table first, and then let me sit down. I hear you've been busy of late. Uh, Ayla and I work to avenge Skior's death. He already knows, so what's the point of hiding? Your hearts are full of grief. And my own weeps at the loss of Skior. But his death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. There's never any the cycle shortage. Of retaliation may continue for some time. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Uh, Skior said it was a blessing from Hersey. Aye, 
That sounds like it. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. So what is the truth, then? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glen Morrow Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hircine, we would be granted great power. And they became werewolves? They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. Uh, let's see. But aren't you more powerful now? The witches didn't lie, of course. But it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hircine for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Is there any way to cure yourself? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Uh, let's see. It shall be done. Good. Now move quickly, and don't leave any of them alive. Talos guide you, lass. Alright. You know, and I honestly, I mean, in all honesty, I don't begrudge, you know, Codlack for wanting to not be a werewolf. Because if you do think about it from like a, you know, a lower perspective, it makes sense that if you were a Nord, you would want to go to Sovereign Guard when you died. You, you know what I mean? Like... You know, I mean, if that's what you wanted, like, it makes sense that you would want to give up the power because if you don't go where you want in the afterlife, you know what I mean? I, I don't begrudge him that, you know? A man should have a choice, a man or a woman, you know, sh obviously, should have a choice to go where they, when they die. So, you know, I'll, I'll help him out. Sure, man. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Now, don't be such a weak little battleborn, punk. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway. But, uh, yeah. And it, may, and it makes sense that our character, I mean, like, it's not that hard to believe that our character would, would, would help, you know, these people yet. Because, keep in mind, we're still a very much a gray area character. Tends to be, uh, tends to be kind of, you know, you know, tends to be, you know. We've already talked about the char character's RP, but obviously we're still pretty much a gray area character. So we're not, you know, a crazy good guy or anything, but we're not, you know, super evil or anything yet either. So, you know, it's kind of a, a fine line to balance, but anyway. Well, there you go. So we got rid of two of them. One of them wasn't uh, the the iron war axe is what was not is what we couldn't get rid of. Well, there you go. Well, we got rid of two of them, which is good. Which is good. So we could either sell the war axe or we could keep it. We'll probably just sell it. Probably just sell it. Up. Just like hopping. But like, what is wrong with that dragonborn? She just hops around everywhere. Look how pretty the tree is now, man. It's so much more picturesque. I like it. It's nice. Anyway. Anyway. All right, move it, you peons. My cousin's out fighting dragons. And I have I have an axe to drop off. Actually, I literally said I was gonna sell it, and then I I was running to my house to keep it. I'll take the money over the axe. Especially because it's only an iron war axe. If it was anything at least fun, like, you know, I don't know, a dwarven war axe or something, maybe I would keep it, but it's only iron. You know what I mean? So you can keep it, bro. That's for you. And I was about to say, I'm assuming I had a few other things to say. To sell, there's a speech increase, which is awesome. There we go. I think that was... Oh, you can have that, too. I don't want that. I want the dwarven helmet. Oh, I don't want the ring, though. You can have that. Beautiful. More money for yours truly? Alright. I do want the Dwarven Helmet, though, because 
I am slowly building up a uh, dwarven armor set, and I'm not doing it to wear it. Um, I'm keeping, I'm building up armor sets because eventually we're gonna have a house, and uh, there's lots of mannequins in houses that you can put armor on for decoration, and uh, so you know, I want to start start collecting them now, so that down the road when we wish we had them and we don't, you know, the faster we collect them, the better off we'll be. It'll be easier for us later. All right, we can drop off the dwarven helmet. And let's see. Anything else to drop off? Nothing there. Uh, I already know there's no potions because we just looked at that. So I think we're probably good on the rest of it, right? Because, yeah, potions is fine. Ingredients. We do have some ingredients. We have one book. Uh, we have a couple of pelts as well. You can hear the, the wolf, whatever, wheezing or something. You're like, could you not? There we go. Ingredients. I like how there's just food on the floor. And how I've never done anything to pick it up. But like, ah, eh, whatever. This is just where I crash my head anyway, right? And we could put the book over here. Boop. Yay. Okay. Good to go. Empty the inventory once again. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go slay some witches, shall we? Let's see. Well, first, let's find out where they are, because that might not be the next thing. Although, we are kind of aiming. There they are. Uh, it's, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but we'll just teleport to Falkreath. Well, should we go to Falkreath, or should we go above? It might be closer to go to the monument and then go south. Yeah, I think it's actually... It, it looks pretty... It looks almost the same, but it kind of looks... It kind of looks a little bit closer to go to the monument and go south. But, you know, it's probably pretty... You know, we're probably only talking feet here anyway, so. Whatever. Hopefully we don't accidentally find some giants along the way or anything. Some giants or mammoths or whatever. Although, fun fact, if you actually turn into a werewolf and start actually fighting them buggers, you'd be surprised. Because uh, when you, like, level up your werewolf and they get pretty powerful, then you can you can take multiple giants and mammoths at the same time. You know, you'd be surprised how quick you can drop a lot of things. They are very, very powerful. Alright. I guess we're kind of more or less working our way towards this uh, little fortress over here. I don't know what's in it, but, you know, more locations discovered is always a good thing, so. And plus, obviously, it's not our real destination. Although, just in case, we'll approach it with caution, because you never know what might be inside. Ah, banditry. Ugh. All right, now I don't care about sneaking. Just let me up. Oh, forsworn. There, you lost. Fort Sunguard. It is forsworn controlled, don't you know? Which is... Man, if only you could actually ally with the forsworn. I absolutely would. Ah, uh, let's see. All right, bro, let's go. Yeah. You missed. And it's funny too cuz it looks like this like internal forsworn battle when really it's just it's me and I happen to look like a forsworn. All right, come on, let's see it. I like your mohawk, but it's not going to save you. You missed. You lose. Any one of you want to, you know, trickle out here nice and slow like? Hmm? much faster with my faster strike speed. I'm coming in there. You missed. Alright. Plus I've even upgraded bows now. Denied! <laughs> If I was a force one, I would I was I would already be nervous because this one person is walking in is just assassinating everybody. My nervousness would skyrocket after I saw her open her mouth, say something, and fire shoot out, and then I would be like, okay, I'm not fighting this person. We're going to die. Absolutely not. You missed. I liked how you looked though. You looked really cool. I knew I'd find you. I don't know even know. Uh, you're probably like inside or in, in indoors somewhere. Well, I'll come back for you. 
but I think this person's over here somewhere. Oh, they might be outside. Hey! Oh. Let's see. Hey, could you come down here? I don't know how to get to you, bro. Oh, hang on. I might have figured it out. Hang on, I'm coming for you. Aha! Unfortunate. Oh, you're lucky. This little piece of rock saves you from him. I mean, it saved you for a second. Right? It saved you for a very short amount of time, but temporarily, it saved you. Cool. Alright, so there was one more little, little peon. Let's see if we can actually find how to get to her. Oh, she might be on the other side over here. Because I don't think I actually went this way. Alright, there we go. I think she might be over here. What, is she indoors? Is there like a dungeon? Huh. Well. Uh. Is someone there? Like, how could she be aware of me if she's inside? If she's inside a location? Especially because there doesn't look to be any kind of. Whatever. She can live to tell the tale. She can. She can tell her friends what happened here. The, but yeah, this one. This one chick showed up and slaughtered us, like just really badly. She killed us all. There you go. You can. You can tell. You can tell the. Tell the story. Because I'm not even going inside. So you know. What is the point? We are otherwise preoccupied. You can tell the. You can tell the story of what happened here. You can tell them what you saw. All right. Looks like there's a mine over here, which is awesome. The, the all the mines will be far more. What is this? Is there anything? It looks like some sort of evil, demonic ritual. Come on, this like bare spot. Nothing grows. I've seen things. <laughs> it's like I watch a lot of YouTube on spooky supernatural content. I know, I know something demonic when I see it. <laughs> Uh, burr, come on. There we go. Give it to me. Please. I don't want to have to find the long way around. Come on. Come on. There we go. Please. Really? Like, how? It's not that steep. Like, I could climb it in real life. And if I could do it IRL, it's not that steep. Seriously? Come on. Literally any surface at all. Pick one. I will take him. I'll take it. Oh my gosh, finally. It's freaking torture to have them just almost make it like 90 times, but then just like, nah, nah, don't think I want to. I'm like, well, how about you just want it a little bit? Ha! Joke's on you. Darn it. The game's like, ha, joke's on you. I'm still not, I'm not letting, I'm not letting you teleport. It's gonna happen, game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teleport to it. I don't even care that it hurt me. Make it happen. Freaking stupid. There. Happy. Other side of the mountain. Just like that. It's like freaking magic. Stupid. It's so frustrating. Alright, anyway. Besides the mountain that was in the way and my, and the, the game trying to, you know, the game giving, you know, doing, doing me dirty. We made it work. We got past. Mind your own business, little fox. I am, uh, I'm busy. I'm doing things, okay? I have some witches to slaughter. I don't have time. Uh, we could grab the dwarven bow. I usually end up sneaking this area, but... Maybe we'll try. Honestly, it depends on how much sneaking damage we do. Like, if I shoot them once and it does barely any damage, well, I'm not going to sweat the whole thing sneaking. I'm just going to run run around and kill everybody. But if it does, like, I don't know. If it does it in, I don't know, in twos. Like, if I could kill them in two shots apiece or something, maybe we'll consider it. We'll just have to see what we're going to... We'll play it by ear. We'll just have to see. Alright, so the first one is pretty close to the... There she is. They're Hagravens, by the way. 
How is that a miss? I disagree. First, get rid of the spider. All right, now that one made more sense. Luckily, they they move so slow that I have all the time in the world to just shoot them. Sneaking, sneaking. Take that. Take those. All of those. Yeah, not yet. All the witches must die. I want my arrow back. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go under first, I suppose. Yeah. There we go. We saw we conquered. We're just going to charge into the next one. Little Hagraven. I am here on behalf of the companions. They want a refund. You missed. There you go. You hit me that time. Got him. Take that. Let's see. We don't want your little basket. Ooh. I will take a chest, though. Yeah, I'll take all of that. Alright, there's there's another one down. Another one bats dust. The necklace that the uh, at the moment we have a necklace on that recharges magicka. The necklace that we will definitely be replace it is one of the necklaces uh, reduces your shout cooldown by I think like ten percent or something. We'll absolutely be switching to that one as soon as we can find it. I can promise you that. Get out of here, you little you little sausage. But yeah, we'll definitely be switching to the shout cooldown necklace as soon as we find one. I will promise you that. Because well, obviously we're not going magic, so magic or regen is not overly amazing. Oops. Well, that's overkill. <laughs> oh my gosh, the fireball hurts. You belong to that scene now. Tell, tell that to her scene, idiot. <laughs> and I do belong to her scene now, and I'm okay with that. Alright, let me just heal myself. Because, yeah, that fireball hurts, man. That fireball hurts. Alright, there's two witches left. Let me, you belong to her scene now. It's like technically true. Uh, Dwarven Bracers of Alchemy. I'll take that. Okay. Anyone want to go for a swim? They're like, not in the waters where Hag Ravens have been, I can tell you that. And things are icky. Alright. So there's two witches left. We'll just have to see how hard it's going to be to find them. Alright, well one of them is almost certainly going to be over here somewhere. It's dark back here. Boar, I say boar. Oh, there we go. This this way is new. This way is new. There's a there's a this is the second to last witch, and I don't know where the other one is. Ah, this one also has the fireballs, by the way. I also missed my power attack, so that's awkward. Gotta say, gotta, gotta keep up with the footwork. There we go. The footwork is what made that work. I was too fast for her to hit me. Other than the, you know, fireball. But to be fair, you know, any old mouth breather could hit, hit the fireball. It's, you know, it's very much an AoE type of thing. Ah, there we go. I think the last witch is over here. Hey. Final witch scum? Oh, this is just back to the main area. I thought that was a different pathway. I've already went over here. Is Was there like another one, like another path or something? Uh, no. Well, let's go upstairs then. Because, yeah. Somewhere over here is, is that other witch. So, let's try the upstairs. There we go. Let's go over here. That's what I'm thinking, is there's got to be some sort of upstairs path, because, uh... Ah, there it is. There it is. Alright, the final witch. 
The companions send their regards. Get out of here. Yeah, I missed that. I know. Thanks for noticing. There we go. I didn't miss that one. That's for the companions. Got him. All right. We have all the heads. Ooh, a goat. Darn it. So let's say, please have it, please have it. Enchanting the 34. And while we're here, we use this opportunity to uh, dismantle anything we can. Ah, the Dwarven Bracers. Nice. We don't actually can't dismantle the uh, iron, so we can go ahead and drop it, because I'm not going to keep it. It's only iron armor. Beautiful. All right. That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of dead witches. Now we can go return to Codlac. Like, hey man, I done diddly got them all. There's a plethora of dead witches. Probably just overkill. <laughs> just highlights my impatience, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, that's a lot of dead witches. Wow, that didn't actually load at all. It was instant. I love that. Also, nightshade. Okay. Godlack. Oh, I get there and he's asleep and I'll just like slap him. Godlack, wake up, you old fool. He's just like, oh, jeez. What's funny is all the companions claim that, uh, they all claim that there's no leader. They're like, oh, yeah, there's no leader. Like, come on. Clearly there's a leader. I mean, because, like, what does a leader do? Okay, well, he gives commands and he you know, leads the whole, a group, right? Okay, well, what does Codlack do? He commands people, even though it might phrase it as a question, no one would refuse him, so in the same, it, in the sense, isn't that a command? Oh, dear. The Silver Hand. They finally had the nerve to attack your basker. We got most of them, but I think a few stragglers made it out. Ooh. Anyway, but yeah, clearly, clearly a leader. He commands people, These every, all, all of them. Anymore. My love. Anyway. But yeah. But I'm just saying. I could actually grab all the hide now that like the fur armors and the hide armors now that I'm now that all these guys are right here. Yeah, give me the boots, the bracers. Fur armor. Well let's see. I think there's certain I think there's different kinds of fur armor. Fur bracers. I already have hide boots. The silver hand. They find uh, I'll take the first shoes. I don't need that. Let's see. I wonder if there's any more around the outside. Around the outside? Let's see. Because, yeah, eventually we're going to have mannequins, and the fur armors and the hide armors are that they are pretty cool, so we'll see. I might not need them, but we'll take a set of them now that they're so conveniently placed. Where? You been. What do you think I was doing, hmm? I was doing Codlack's bidding. I hope it was important. Because it means you weren't here to defend him. I wasn't I was I was the not here anyway. Man. They finally found enough courage to attack your Vasker. We fought them off. But the old man, Codlack, he's dead. Was anyone else hurt? No. But they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak. And they will know terror before the end. Here you go. And by the way bro i'm not here anyway all right so me being here so like i wouldn't have been here to defend him anyway so your argument is invalid let's see what what pieces am i missing all right so i have fur armor bracers and shoes okay so we're all good there hide armor boots and bracers oh there you go just like that we're all done nice we officially have uh, a full set of hide and armors and no i'm not counting the helmets there's codlack they also robbed him apparently
Well, there you go. And way to go, guys. A bunch of silver hand beat, beat, you know, got killed Codlac and robbed you. Gonna be honest, not feeling that impressed because I've killed legions of silver hand on my own. So, not incredibly impressed with your, uh, with your efforts there. I was going to teleport, but it occurs to me that, you know, we're pretty close anyway. It's almost probably, it's probably just almost just as fast just to run there. So we're going to run to the house. We'll drop off all the armors that I just picked up. And then we'll go avenge Codlax's death. Make them bleed. Oh, they will bleed. You want to hear a little Lord Wisdom? You don't really know a woman until you've had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Very, uh, there's some wisdom for you, I guess. Thank you. My exploits travel fast. I just got back from that. You don't prepare the meat with any of those strange <laughs> With those freaky elven spices, do you? Divine smile on you, friend. Thanks, bro. Brian Hello, girls. She keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. Good. Braith is an idiot. You're way better than her, darling. You're way better than her, sweetie. She is but holding you back. All right, Vilkas, we can, you can visit my house, but don't be weird, all right? Don't freak out Ayla either. She might get strange vibes from you. Uh, let's see. We don't need any of that. Mostly, we're just here to drop off all the armor. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and drop off. Well, first, let's drop off the extra amulet we got. Then, let's go ahead and drop off all the hide stuff and the fur stuff. Beautiful. All right. We can go... I just didn't want to, you know, needlessly carry all that around. But hey, it made sense to grab it now, because if I want it later, it won't be as convenient to make or grab or anything else. So if I don't need it, then no harm done. All right, obviously going to Dawnstar is going to be the fastest way, which works out anyway, because we should, cause, uh, the chest is pro hopefully refilled by now. And because uh, it's been, on, I, I mean, Ed, the, I check it like once every video after the first time that we, that we looked at it. And, you know, it has yet to refill. So here's hoping that it's refilled. And uh, we'll grab that, but even if it's not, it's the closest to our destination, so it works out anyway. You with me? Yup. By the way, do you have like a wolf helmet? No, I don't think so. No, I I don't know. I can't totally tell. I don't think there's a wolf helmet. Either there is a wolf helmet, and maybe he just well. maybe um, Skior just never never wore one. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm just one of the miners. I don't want any trouble. <laughs> For a second, I was like, "What makes you think I'm trouble?" But I was like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> of course I'm trouble." But I didn't come all the way here just to attack you. Like I said, you, like you said, you're just a miner. Got him. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new here. Oh, it was yellow too. Like, okay. So, yeah, soul snares. Yeah. Darn it all. Nothing new. All right. Come on there, uh... I almost said, what's your name? It's Vilkus. Come on, Vilkus. He's like, aren't you cold? I'm like, no. <laughs> Definitely not. Imperials are known for their cold resistance, don't you know? I'm going around this way because I'm trying not to encourage what's-his-face that we're good that I'm doing his mission, because we're not. I wasn't, I was, I'm not trying to encourage him, so I'm trying to run around him. Because, yeah, I'm, we're not doing his quest right now. It's a Daedric thing, spoiler alert. He gives you a Daedric item, spoiler alert, and uh, no, it's not very good. I mean, you know, it's a fine item, I suppose, but it doesn't do anything for even if, yeah, our play style, it's not conducive at all, and it, and it's, you know, not that good. So, we don't need it. Eventually, I'm, I'll, eventually we'll, we'll do it, just mostly for the experience and just to say that we did, but, you know, not exactly high priority because, you know, what's it going to do? Catch me if you can, Vilkus. Ha ha. Uh, I think we can go around this way. Guess we'll find out, but I think we can. Yeah, there we go. I think this will be fine. Little goat. I need horns anyway, dude. I'll knock you out. You think he's going to come and he's going to be like, what's wrong with you? Man, he only had to hide. So unlucky. Aha, uh -huh. I can see it on the horizon. I mean, on the map. I can't actually see it. We can probably switch back now. Fire breath to keep us warm. Oh, I thought it was a frost wolf for a minute. 
what is this? I'm like, all these animals flocking to me. I'm like freaking Dr. Doolittle over here. Here we go. Keep going. Don't worry, little elk. I have more important things at the moment. And then go hunting. Oh, there's lots of elk. There's big ones and little ones and everything. Again, more important things to do. But if you keep standing in my way, I'll do it. I'm not, I won't go out of my way, but if you're just standing there begging for it, dude, I'll knock you out. You man, you better run. Okay, that's it. You're going down. Come here. Got him. I need big antlers anyway. Oh, dang it. You only have a hide. So unlucky. Wasn't going to. Well, I guess uh, we're not probably not going to be sneaking either, because if I have what's his name, then uh, sneaking is much less of an option anyway. So, which is fine. You don't you don't always want to sneak anyway. Somehow I missed. I disagree. There we go. Admittedly, I give that one a quick swing. I gave that one a quicker a quicker shot because I uh, she was right in my face and I was. I was too lazy to want to switch. Okay. I am going to run up top Vilkus because I need the... Uh, I want to loot his arrows. But don't worry. There's stairs right behind it. Fear not. Okay. I need... I'll probably just have iron, but you know. Arrows are arrows, right? Iron. Plus, it's still what I'm using, so... All right, in we go. Let's go slaughter some Silverhand. For Codlac, as it were. For Codlac. Okay. Okay. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. Open sesame. Hello, you Silverhand scum. Time to end this Wow, you are tankier than I thought you were going to be. Oh. Oh. Just beat him down. Yeah, we'll keep the bow out for a minute. We'll see. Ooh, he had orcish arrows and steel arrows. He was no regular pleb. He was an advanced pleb. This isn't your average everyday darkness. This is advanced darkness. Uh, well, it doesn't probably doesn't matter. Let's just go this way. Uh-oh. Yeah, how's that for a little game? Also, a book! Give me. I'm filling a bookshelf. And even when we're done with that, eventually we'll have a house. And that house will have lots of bookshelves. So we're gonna need... We're gonna need a metric ton of books. So, you know, you might as well start grabbing them now. Oh, these guys have a freaking library in here. Oh, I thought, I thought that was uh, a sack of money. But it's not. It's not. Bunch of ruined or burned books. Soul gem. And a heal, which is great. Uh, I guess we could continue this way. But so there's definitely going to be some... Denied. <laughs> Just shot him in the head. Right in the eye, dude. I shot him in the eye. That's definitely fatal. Hi. You better find some stairs, homeboy. I hit him. I helped. That was a, that one was a team effort. I don't want you taking all the credit. I, I hit him twice. Now, granted, he was a little more heavily armored, so my shots weren't doing very much, but, you know, it was a work in progress. A chest. Let's see how lucky I feel. Really freaking lucky, I would say. Apparently. Take all that. I don't need the Orcish Warhammer. There's so many forks on the road. I feel like we're definitely missing some. I probably should have looked at the other other ways first, but, you know, here we are. Oh, I thought for a second it was just going to give it to me for free again. Man. All right. Solid. I again, the second of contemplation of your failure is just the worst. It's just the worst. Especially as like you know how slim is the opening have to be? Because like it's right here, but if you move it all, you're too far. It's just like crap. Like how exact do you have to be? 
Oh dear, all these people were sleeping. Here, let me make sure. I don't want to wake you up. Let me just... I thought there was going to be more. <laughs> but it's fine. Vampire dust? Is that guy a vampire? Or, or maybe he... maybe. He, Wait, maybe he killed Vampire, I don't know. I don't want that crappy Imperial armor. Put that back. Put that back. I don't need that garbage. I do need potions, though. Ooh, another one. Potion. Gear belt. Steel ingots, which is great, because steel ingots are uh, surprisingly needed and surprisingly not as easy to find as other things, so. You know. Alright. Follow me. Brochacho. Yo! What was, that? <laughs> what was that? Takes an arrow. Alright, the time for arrows has passed. It's not going well. That was, that was the time, dude. Ha! I got both the kills. You did nothing, Filkus. That was the time because I could hit him both without without hitting uh, Velkis. So that that was the that was the perfect opportunity for that. All right. Chest. There's money in it. Uh, a whole bunch of food. Nothing we need. Nothing we need or want. All right. Follow me. Follow me. Yeah, I should have looked at those other ways first. They were probably dead ends. I, you know, most likely. But it's fine. Never should have come. Woo! I barely dodged that. Feel free to help from behind there, homeboy. Oh, you stole my kill animation. You butthead. I was mid-animation when you stopped it. How rude. How rude. I already have boots. Uh, leather armor, but we've talked about it. Leather is boring. I mean, it's really good armor, but it's boring. <laughs> and I'm vain enough that I wouldn't wear it just because of how boring it is. I don't care if it's great or not. <laughs> Once again, stole my kill. Well, maybe he's getting revenge for all the kills I stole from him earlier. So maybe it's maybe it's fair. Oh, there was another one. Dude, they're, you're being attacked, you moron. There, I got that one, I guess. You idiot. Oh, hang on. He had an arrow. Healing. Magicka. A book we don't need. I will take this, though. Ooh, light armor increase. Also, I think Vilkis is in combat again. Okay. Stamina. Let's see. We could go up archery, because of course I do love using archery. We also could increase our armor uh, by going up, you know, farther. Sneaking would be another good one. Uh, let's see. So this one obviously leads to zooming in, and then you can zoom in. It also will slow time eventually. You can also go up to this one, which is critical hit chance, and raise that by three over time. But then eventually it'll lead to recover more arrows, which is great, and able to move faster with a drawn bow, which is really good. So, let's see. And eventually this will lead to power shot which is arrows stagger all but the largest opponents 50% of the time which is surprisingly nice and then that one which is can draw a bow 30% faster which is amazing uh, let's see let's go critical chance critical is nice alright this way Ah, there was the guy that was attacking, uh, attacking Vilkus. I need my bow. Look, a werewolf. Don't be, ex don't be excited though. When you, if you open it, he'll just, he'll just attack you, if memory serves. Oh, horse meat. I don't want your stupid food. Here, you can have that and the wine. I don't want either one of them. 
I didn't even realize I picked up the wine, to be honest. Someone there? Oh yeah, for sure, my dude. Yo! Huh, I did manage to hit him. Ooh, he's dead. Pretty sure I, maybe, I might have hit Vilkas with my shout. <laughs> but, you know. Werewolf. I'll take the human flesh because I'm a freak. Anyway. Follow me, Vilkas. Missed. Having this archer duel and you're losing. Oh, you butthead, you stole my kill. Every time. What's your problem, hmm? You're such a jerk, dude. Give me that. Alright. You're such a jerk. Alright. Oh yeah, I was about to say, where was the guy that you killed? But I found him. Alright, follow me. Alright, continue on. The silver hand are dropping like flies. Like flies, dude. Healing, by the way. Domed her in the head. He's dead too. Aw, oh, you stupid Vilkus. I was gonna shoot him the second he rounded the corner. It was such a cool plan, too. I got him. I might have hit you again with the shout, by the way. <laughs> so, you know. I'd say my bad, but pff, oh, whatever. <laughs> Hey man, I was slaying, all right. Couldn't I? He was, he was, you know, ruining my momentum. Okay. Oh, flip. Dang it. <laughs> Let me out. I don't want to sit here. All right. Give me that. And apparently, that actually was all the silver hands, so I might not have missed as much as I thought I did. Ooh, he had orcish arrows. Pity for him that his armor sucked. All right, give me all the books. If it's a book, I want it. Also, money, and I saw a big chest over here for sure. Elven armor, I think I already picked up elven armor, didn't I? I almost swear I did. Yeah, I'll grab it just in case. Yeah, Fancy diamond, gold diamond necklace to wear, which, well, we can sell. Oh, I thought that was something special, considering it looks like it. Don't be deceived. Hey, we're back at the entrance, just like that. Oh, yeah, there's the guy that got an arrow through the cheek. Alright. Come on, Vilkus. We got all the fragments. Alright, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. To the south. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head over to actual Yorvaskar so that mostly so we can ditch so we can ditch Vilkas, because I don't want him following me around like a puppy forever. It's like, look, man, can you leave? You're st you're you're a kill stealer, and every time I shoot something or shout, you're in the way. All right. So how about you just leave? The others have probably prepared Kodlak's funeral by now. Come probably. up to the Sky Forge to pay your respects. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Ah yes, the meme. Pity for that guy that uh, I'm faster than him. <laughs> See you there, Vilkas. Lols. Lols. All right, well, let's let's attend a funeral. I definitely look ready for a funeral. It's more like a warrior's funeral, though, right? So, I'll do it. excuse me. 
part of me. I'm one of the I'm one of the important ones, so I stand in front. We grieve. We grieve. At this loss, we weep. We weep. For the fallen, we shout. We shout. And for ourselves, we take, we our, take leave. our leave. His spirit is departed. Members of the circle, let us withdraw to the Underforge to grieve our last together. Yeah, wow, the Yaros here. Wow, a lot of high-ranking peeps. the fragments of Uthrad still? Yup. need to prepare them for mounting again. Uh, I return the, or here, take them. <laughs> there you go. That's much more like me. We want even more fragments, do we? Of course, I have a small favor to ask of you. There's another piece that Kodlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. Uh, it would be my pleasure. Thank you. I'll be here. I don't want to be too much of a jerk, right? <laughs> Something has shifted in the moment, sister. Sorry, I don't know if there was more to that sentence, but I have to grab something. And while I'm there, I'm probably gonna rob his room. <laughs> TBH. But hey, no one'll no one'll be around to see it, so is it even really robbing? It's more like I am uh, sorting his things, and I just sorted a lot of them into my inventory. <laughs> it's like, well, that sounds shifty. Well, that sounds suspicious. Okay, this way. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. I'm not going to grab too much. I am going to grab that Daedra heart though. That's a rare item. I'm going to take I'm going to steal that book and the money. I'll take that book too. I'll take that money. I don't need all the books. I just want most of them. I don't know if those daggers if the, that dagger's worth a lot. No, it's just like an orcish dagger. It's not even the worth the trouble of breaking that thing open. Let's see boots. Ooh, there's another one. Aw oh, man. Fine. The there is um that's a whole thing. That that little jeweled amulet look looking doodad. There's a there's a lot to that. It's there's all they're scattered all over Skyrim. They're a pain, to be honest. Alright, give the final fragment to Yorland. Ah, just in time, everyone's back. They didn't see me rob him. All right, it was also Codlax's journal. How big is this little journal? Uh, quite a bit. It's very long. Ah, my name's in this one, though. Interesting. I just saw my name as I was looking through. Interesting. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out why Skior let you in in the first place. Oh, shut up. How about I knock you out? You want to talk? You want to say something to say to me? If the vouches for you, I'm sworn to respect their judgment. But that doesn't mean I like it. You're an idiot. I was supposed to say, can I beat you up? I want to know. <laughs> I want to know so I can destroy you. Like, how about that? How about I teach you some respect, huh? Huh? Do you know who I am? I am a high-ranking member these days, bro. Bro? All right. Now we can go give the fragment, and then we'll probably be meeting the uh, rest of the bros inside the under circle. Or the under, whatever it's called. The under, the the cave thing, you know what it is. Hey, I got your fragment. You're back. I have Codlax fragment. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. That's the name. Thank you. I have to go meet my bros. All right. Let's go talk. Had one wish before he died. And he didn't get it. It's as simple as that. Being moonborn is not so much of a curse as you might think, Vilkas. That's fine for you. 
But he wanted to be clean. He wanted to meet Iskramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all that was taken from him. And you avenged him? Godlack did not care for vengeance. No, Farkas, he didn't. And that's not what this is about. We should be honoring Godlack, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Godlack used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends of the tomb of Iskramor. There, the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without Uthrad. And it's in pieces, like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and the elves once ruled Skyrim. Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is a weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken, and repaired. Is that... Did you repair the blade? This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield system here. The flames of a hero can reforge the shadow. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. As the one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the one to carry Uthrad into battle. The rest of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Iskromo, for Kodlak. All right. After you, Ayla, my love, go ahead. There you go. Well, there you go. We're going to go avenge him. And I'll have to hold on to Uthrad. It's a two-handed weapon, in case you're wondering. And uh, it's a two-handed weapon. The problem, of course, is that I don't, I don't use two-handed weapons. But, you know, we'll hold on to it for the plot. I don't think I can drop it anyway, so... And I wouldn't drop it like on the floor. I would, you know, I'd hang on to it in my inventory somewhere, in my one of my boxes. That's a nice thought. Thanks, man. All right. Quick stop. I'll see you all there. Cause yeah, they're they're, they're gonna run there, and I'm so not doing that. I'll tell I'll teleport as close as I can, and I'll run the remainder of the way. Okay. So, I don't know how heavy my, or how full my inventory is, but I do know I have a few things like that to drop off. Those, those, uh, there we go. Okay, and I know I have some books to add as well. I have those ones and those ones. Ooh, that's probably close, right? Oh, that might be exactly enough. Yeah. Cool, we did it. We filled both the shelves, and look how good it looks. I like that. Awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and drop the ingredients. Drop all of those. Beautiful. And then we have some hides to drop off. There we go. Hide, pelt, hide, uh, let's see, ingots, ingot, beautiful, and I think I found a scroll as well, yep, then I pet the elven armor, I'm gonna hold on to that fur armor for a minute, then weapons, drop off the four sworn arrows, the iron arrows, steel arrows, there's wolf, there's Wuthrad, especially deadly to elves. So, you know, there you go. There you go. Uh, cure disease, don't need that. We can put back the magical ones. Put back both of those two. Or, you know, two of those, I mean. Uh, Stamina-wise, I don't really usually use stamina potions. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and drop off those. I don't really use them. It's kind of the same principle as Magicka. We'll keep the healing ones for now, because I do occasionally use those. And we're going to drop off the gem. That gem, that gem, and that gem. He keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. Good. Braith is an idiot. To see you again, my okay. We are going to grab... I need some... Not iron. I need leather. Give me all that leather. And you can give me all the strips, too. They don't weigh very much. 
And then I think it's time to change our armor. I like my armor a lot, but, you know, I like changing up often because I'm, you know, eventually, you know, you get bored of it eventually, right? So I wanted to change. So we're going to go ahead and grab uh, the fur bracers and I guess fur shoes too. I'm not horribly against them. And I like the fur armor that I have already. Beautiful. Okay. Then let's go ahead and switch to those. They're not going to be as good, but that's, uh, of course, we don't care about that, right? Because that's 38 and that's 46. Yeah, they're, they're not nearly as good. Now, obviously, we're going to improve it and obviously we're going to ditch the helmet, but, you know, oops, take that off. We look so cool. Beautiful. We'll have to improve it, of course, but okay. We can open this and drop off our old armor. There we go. Drop off those, and we're taking the leather because, hi sweetie, because we will improve it. Because we will, I think you need just leather to improve this. Hopefully that's true, but I think it is. I think that's all you need. Yes, yes it is. Beautiful. There, now they're a little better. And it's only a little bit worse. It's not that bad. I mean, we are, we did ditch the helmet though, so obviously that that's much worse, but whatever. Point is we look freaking awesome. And it's and it's and it's different. And I like well, I like swapping up my look a lot because I'm finicky that way. I think the fastest is gonna be going to Yeah, going outside Dawnstar and then going Going due east, I think will be the fastest way. I think will be the quickest way. And it's nice to switch up my look. I will probably be doing that fairly often. Just because it'll keep it fun and fresh for me too. Which will be nice. Okay. Uh, east. Eastbound. Eastbound and down. Roll it up and trucking. We're going to do what they say can't be done. Because we got a long way to go. And a short time to get there. Eastbound and watch an old bandit run. I bet you none of you are going to get that. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old song. Let's just suffice it to say that old country song. Everyone's like, "Ew, country." I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some sort of disease. First of all, no, don't be hateful. Is there anything good in here? No. Nope. Random food, random bed rolls, which means nothing to me. Bet, bet you this is gold. There's also slaughter fish in the water. Either that or there's salmon. If we're lucky, it's just salmon. Do do do. All right, to the old whatever it's called, the Yzgrimor something or other. All the circles gonna be there. It's a long trip for them, that's for sure. We could discover this little boat along the way. Might as well. It's right here. Might as well. well we might piss off some bandit bandits. I don't know who what's there, but we're about to find out. I gotta make sure you actually can't breathe underwater. I just dive out of habit, being like, yay, I can breathe, but you actually can't. Hi, are you friendly? Ugh. Ah, you are friendly. Questions. What luck? What, I still haven't discovered it? Come on, thank you. Come on. <laughs> I'm walking here, forget about it. I'm sticking pretty far north because our objective is pretty far north. So, swim, but yeah, there actually is slaughter fish in the water, which can make swimming an unfortunate experience. Now that they don't like kill you in seconds or anything, they just, it's just kind of a, kind of a scary thought to be swimming and have something nipping at your heels. It's pretty not cool. I think there's a standing stone way over there. I think eventually we're going to have a uh, objective there. We probably should just go discover that while we're right here. There we go. Now that we can, now that we are on land, we will try and stay on the ice as much as possible. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, there we go. Didn't totally make that one, but we made it work. Okay, we're just gonna discover this standing stone because eventually we're gonna have have an objective there, and it will be easier if we have already discovered it. Then we'll. Head towards our objective, which can, which we can't see yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Also, what are this? 
Ooh. Wow, you'd be surprised what you find out here. Dang, and there's a book and old skeleton and an old flag. Cool. Problem is, it's right there. And there is no easy, cheesy way to get up there. All right, we'll just uh, kind of hop our way down gently, but you know. Yeah, it's still easier. As, as, as a little tad inconvenient as this is now, it'll still be much more convenient than it'll be later if we don't discover it. Whoa! Got him. Yeah, that was cool. It was like a Superman punch. But, you know, with, uh, with a uh, dagger. Alright, first let's heal myself, because, yeah, things are a little, little bit more dangerous in the north. The average creature is uh, much tougher than its southern cousin. I'll take those. Alright, oh, anyway. <laughs> Forgot for a second where I, why I was even going this direction. Oh man, we're all way too close. There we go. That's a little better. Way too close. I'm hoping this is the right way and this isn't just a way around. Because I need to be going up. This... Yeah, there we go. I think this is right. Beautiful. We're not going to stick around long because I think there's a couple of ice wraiths here. and I almost died the, only, the other time we discovered these things. So, Ooh, or... Huzzah! Oops, wrong button. Quicksilver, nice. Give me all the ore. Ooh, there's another one. Give me, give me, give me. Nice. Alright, we're not going to stick around long. We're just going to discover it and probably sprint for our lives. And we're not going to use it either because I have the sanding stone I want. Tower stone. What does this do? Just out of curiosity. Uh, those under the sign of the tower have the option to automatically open expert or lower locks. Wow. Well, that's interesting. Oh, so this actually isn't the one I was thinking of. I mean, because it will... I mean, maybe it is, but maybe the ice race only spawned for the special mission that you're going here for. Possibly. Which, hey, I'm okay with that. M much safer for me. Especially considering I was only going to run anyway. I gotta be careful. I don't want to get stuck or fall and die. There we go. This looks kind of, this looks kind of shallow. Beautiful. All right. Continuing on. But yeah, it's better to discover this type of thing now. It'll be far less convenient later on. I wonder if I should just go discover this, uh, this boat. I mean, it's along the way, right? So, it makes no difference. We could try and uh climb the ice, though. Problem is, the ice doesn't go the whole way, right? So... It's like Arctic water. I was about to say, give it. Thank you. Now let's hurry get up there. We're gonna drown. <laughs> Alright, you're good. We're fine. Yeah, that's something you'd have to explore after you had a necklace of water breathing or something. Huh? Didn't quite make it. There we go. There we go. Easy. I didn't mean anything by it. Alright, I'm just... Just walking, just passing through. And here we are. Oh, I think you have to go like above. Yes. There we go. Well, well. A little burial urn. All right. I'll be like, knock, knock. It is me. Hello. Hello, it's me. First, let's give it a save, though. It's been like 90 years since I gave it a manual save. 
That's me trusting the autosave. Inconsistent. This is the resting place of Iskramor and its most trusted generals. You should be cautious. Oh, yeah? Are you not coming? Kodlak was right. I let vengeance rule my heart. I regret nothing of what we did at Driftshade. But I can't go any further with my mind fogged or my heart grieved. So be it. All right, then. This is the resting place of For the Iskramor. Love. And his most trusted general. So buggy, dude. You should be cautious. Yeah, I know. I saw it already. We had this conversation. Why do we need to be cautious? Their finest warriors rest with Isgramor. You'll have to prove yourselves to them. It's not that you're intruding. I'd wager they've actually expected us. They just want to be sure that you're worthy. Be ready for an honorable battle. How do we get inside? Return Wuthra to Iskramor. It should open the way. I know. I already knew that. That's what I was doing. I. Thanks. All right. Hey, do you guys uh. Move it, you idiots. I'm gonna get to it. You can't protect it forever. There. Thank you. It's like, come on. Surely you guys don't care if I rob a super old tomb. All right, well, for those of you that are coming with me, let's go. You wanna fight? Punks. Get out of here, little ghost. Got him. Ancient Nord bow. Oh, please. I'm above such things. Missed. Ugh. I guess I get him. I'm doing like 90% of the work. Good shots, Ayla, by the way. My sexy little archer waifu. And she's like, you do realize that we're not romantic at all yet. But like, yet, though, is the operative word. Not yet, we're not. Alright. Moving on. Moving on, although we don't want to move on too fast, though. I want to get my loot, man. Besides, I might have missed that garnet and that gold if I had moved on too quickly. Okay. Pretty confident that's pretty much it. Oop. Ah, stuck on a wall. They're corner trapping me. Thank you. This way. I need to upgrade my daggers as soon as we... I mean, we don't have access to any more yet. I haven't seen anything newer, but... Ooh, you're tougher. Yeah, you like that, ghost? Yeah, how's that for mortal fool punk? They're like, why are you robbing us? You're a companion. I'll be like, yeah, well. Look, man, I'm just interested in getting stronger, okay? You want to have a, a archer fight? Little ghost? Oops. Ah, this one's has more armor and the bow hurts. It's actually more important that I dodge a little bit. Help me out, waifu. Thank you. I was about to say, I can get you before you kill me. Woo! Man, that hurts. Yeah, that uh, she was doing some real damage. Something has shifted in the moon, sister. I agree, my love. Hang on, give me a minute, I'm healing myself. Definitely a wise decision investing in the lowest level of, uh, in the lowest level of the healing, because man, it comes in handy a lot. Because then I can heal, even no matter, like, even if my health goes really high, like, and I am, we're also increasing the magic too, which, oh, ancient order arrows. Anyway, we're also increasing my magic level too, so I have more magic, and honestly, I feel like that that was a pretty, uh, it's, I feel like that's, 
you know, a wise, wise decision as well. Because occasionally when you need magic, it's nice to not run out of it. It's kind of nice. I was about to say, are my arrows that I was using floating? As it turns out, they are. We're not going to get too gung-ho, but if they're easy to spot, why not, right? I'm not going to hunt down for all these arrows that may or may not exist. Further, shield sister. What's wrong, you big baby? What's the matter? Ever since Dustman's Cairn, the big crawly ones have been too much for me. Everyone has his weakness, and this one is mine. I'm not proud, but I will stay back with Vilkas. Give my regards to Ysgrimor. All right. What's wrong, dude? Is the big bad werewolf scared of the spiders? I mean, to be fair, spiders are icky, but I mean, you know, these ones are. They're a bit. They're super icky when there's when they're bigger than you are. But it's not gonna be enough to stop me. Ayla and I are on a mission. Move it, you little pests. The waifu and I aren't scared of any stinking spiders. Right, darling? Alright, follow me, my love. Up. Up. Ugh. You missed. Oh, that one didn't miss. Oh, there's a big one. I got him. I got him. Come here, you big... That big one almost got me, man. Those big ones are nasty. Something is Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. All right, solid. Okay. Yeah, that big one was actually hurting more than I was giving giving him credit for, to be honest. Oh, beautiful. Ooh, Dwarven Dagger. I'm not crazy about the, the effect. We'll have to see what it actually does, but... We'll have to see if... Yeah, we'll have to see what it does, but, you know, we'll see. Whoa! Sorry, I was... Admittedly, I wasn't watching. You missed. You missed. Got him. I was about to say, you can't actually search them. Even if it says temporarily you can. Good insight, my darling. Alright. Follow me, my love. This way. Little ghost. Right on cue. We're getting him. You missed. Hang on, I need to actually heal on the fly a little bit. You can never truly stop me. I can get the old college try though. King what? There. <laughs> hey, look, critical strike on that one. Got him. Nice. Okay, then go ahead and give me this and that. Something has huh? Ooh, orcish arrows. Imperial bow, I don't need that crap. Iron sword, don't need that crap. Okay. Alright, come on, my love. I sense we are getting we are getting near. Hang on, I'm having flashbacks. I almost think that something here is booby trapped, like you touch it and there's flames everywhere. Interesting. 
Shoot him, darling. I can strike and move away faster than you can swing. <laughs> So I've heard recently. Alright. Any uh any skill increase is a good one. Okay. Beautiful. Any uh other goodies? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Come on, Ayla. Ah, the final countdown. It's the final countdown. Na -na -na -na. Greetings, Shield Sister. Codlack, is that you? Of course. My fellow Harbingers and I have been warming ourselves here, trying to evade Husey. But there's no one else here. You see only me because your heart knows only me as the companion's leader. See, you said I there was no leaders. I told you. I see half a dozen of my predecessors. And I see them all. The ones in Sovereign The ones trapped with me in Hearsay's realm. And they all see me. You. you brought honor to the name of the Companions. We won't soon forget it. Uh, Vilka said you can still be cured. Did he now? I can only hope. You still have the witch's heads. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Throw one of them into the fire. It will release their magic. For me, at least. Alright. Head. What was that? Thought I heard I don't want to swing until the go the blue ghost is gone. There we go. Wait, is it? There it is. No sign of it. Something is shifting. Patience. All right. Greetings, Shield Sister. We've killed your beast spirit, and so slain the beast inside of me. I thank you for this gift. The other harbingers remain trapped by hearsay. Perhaps from Sovengar, the heroes of old can join me in their rescue. The harrowing of the hunting grounds. It would be a battle of such triumph. And perhaps someday you'll join us in that battle. But for today, return to your vessel. Triumph in your victory. And lead the companions to further glory. No. Did you hear that, darling? Did you? Something has... Did I hear right? Did he say you were to lead the companions? Will you follow? He did indeed. You've earned the right. Your strength and honor are apparent to all. And it's my honor to be first to address you as Harbinger. Let's go tell the others. Nice. I'm officially the boss, everybody. The boss. And it was funny, too, because they're like, you know, Oh, there are no leaders. I'd be like, oh, the heck there aren't. <laughs> Trust me, bro, there's always a leader. Trust me, no matter how the, many times I hear, they don't have any leaders. Ye yes, they do. They might, their leader might not do as much hands-on as other leaders do, and they might not re re rely on him as much, but there is a leader. Believe me, there is leader. I was looking for other super swag loot. Ah, the chest. Shield of Ysgamore increases magic resistance by 20% and your health by 20. And a dwarven helmet, we already have one, but yeah, well, I, we are we just grabbed one, we don't need one. Uh, minor sneaking. Ooh, sneaking is easier. Dwarven sort of scorching, we'll take that. And we're actually not even wearing a ring, so for now that ring will actually be helpful. For now. Nice. Very, very nice. I think that's just about... Yeah, I already looked at all that. Beautiful. Alright. Let's, go, let's, go, let's uh, go tell the other peons that I'm the boss. Hey, by the way, <laughs> I got promoted. Did you know? I'm like, yeah, like... Says who? But like, talk to Ayla. She heard in person to prove that I'm not just making it up that I'm the leader. 
money. Elven armor. We just got some of that. We don't need it. Any other sweet loot I should know about? Not really. Not really. I think this is going to freak out the boys. See this rock go down and we step out of it. I'm like, hello! Aw. <laughs> Oh, I know what they're doing. There they are. Hey. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Uh, Codluck said I Codluck said I should lead the companions now. Oh, you don't have to worry about any problems from me. I do what I'm told. Congratulations. Thank you, Farkas. Uh, I cured Codluck. He's not a werewolf anymore? Even dead? This is a good thing. Let's see. Uh, you going back to your Vasker? my brother goes. I think he wants to look around some more. Okay. All right then. All right. Now I think your brother will be a ways in, so let's sprint through, see if we can find him. Oh, for a second I thought that was him. I was like, I was like, hey, there he is, but no, that's not him. Make sure he's not in here before we press on. See if we can find him. Vilkis, the big irony will be if he's actually made it back to the main thing by now. I mean, well, they said Vilkas, and Vilkas wasn't in any of it to begin with, so he should still be at the entrance. Because he never even made it this far. Unless he was going in to actually, you know, heading into the final chamber, in which case he could be. He could be in a ways by now. Oh, look. Finally out of stamina. How about that? We're getting there. Hopefully we can actually find Vilkas. Eventually. Keep going. And the final chamber! Uh, it's funny because now Ayla isn't even here. Literally, is anyone around? I mean, you know, I just ran the whole thing, so you would assume that I would have seen them. You would think, anyway. Well, whatever. If we happen to see him, great. If not, shrug. Shrug. Oh. There's well, there's two of Oh, there you all are. What Idiot are man. For? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Alright, uh, I cured Codlack. Yes. You brought honor to him, even after his death. A worthy outcome for a worthy warrior. Uh are you going back to your Vasker? Not right now. I'm going to look at some of these carvings. I wonder if Ysgramor ever set foot here while he was alive. But you don't have to stay if you don't want to. I'll see you back at the Orvasker. Stories to tell the others, eh? That's right. Codlack said, as Codlack said I should lead the companions now. If you had told me a few months ago that some outsider I had never heard of would lead the companions, I might have slit your throat. But I've seen what you can do, and heard of the love that Kodlak had for you. The trust. Let's That's right. hope you can show that his heart was not deceived. Good luck, my friend. Oh, cool. So they're not going to give me issues. Aye. That's good. You're Focus. someone my who love. can get things done. I like I that. that means, All right. uh, are you going back to your Vasker? Eventually. But this, this is the tomb of Iskramor. I think I'm just going to commune for a bit. This place is worthy of some time. You go on ahead. I'll see you back there. Cool. I'll take and I think he, I saw that you had work. That I, we've been hired to deal with some pests in Hjalmarch. Someone's got them riled up and you need to put an end to it. Uh, what kind of trouble should I expect? The Falmer. There have been reports that they've been attacking people at night. I'll take care of it. I knew you could be counted on. Do what must be done. There we go. We're going to grab it. We're not going to, like, you know, rush to it because that was the end of the main companion's story. Uh, there, there is these other little, you know, totem things that I'll explain. Um, I'm actually going to take this. Aha. And it doesn't even shut anything anymore. Some people don't think anyway. Smart. Anyway. But, uh... 
Yeah, so there is these, um, eventually you can do enough work for the companions, and I don't remember totally how you trigger it, but I don't totally remember how, how you trigger it, per se. Uh, but, that you can do enough work for the companions, I think, is what it's related to. Um, but you get these werewolf totems, and the totems, like, basically supercharge your werewolf powers when you're in the werewolf mode, after you get the perks in, while you're in the, in the werewolf perk tree. Um, but, yeah, and they supercharge your powers, basically, and then you see the little, the, the, the little flat surfaces inside the underforge. Um, the, there's a totem for each little flat surface, basically. And then, yeah, so that's, that's basically it. So then eventually the flat surfaces are each holding a totem, and you get the idea. You get the idea. So, uh, yeah. Well, I've seen mud crabs that are smarter than you. Oh, for the love. Porker face. Hey, Mama? hey, knock it off. Cut it out, both Aww. of you. Brief has a big meaning. Knock it off, you two. I get home and they're all fighting. I don't want to play with her anymore. I'm going to go yell at, yell at Lydia for a minute. Get home and be like, Lydia! Hello? Were you not concerned that these guys were fighting downstairs? I know you could probably, you could certainly hear them. It's like, come on, woman. All right. All right, drop off all of those. Ugh. All right, now we'll start storing books in here because obviously our bookshelf is full. So we'll start storing them, but we will need them later. And then we do have some mining stuff. Uh, the leather, the leather strips. Uh, let's see, the ore, the moonstone, the pelt. Uh, I don't think we got any scrolls. We did not. Apparel. I do think we had a little bit. Yeah, Ancient Nord Helmet, the Shield of Usgamor. And then here we can drop off all those arrows. The Sword of Scorching, the Ancient Nord Arrows, Wuthrad, of course. Now this one is, let's see, the Revered Dagger. But the problem is, it says Undead of level, blah, 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 blah. But the problem is, is that it'll take um, Soul Gems to fuel it. And I'm not really that interested in that in that little enchantment specifically. I do want a Dwarven Dagger, but we'll just have to wait till we find a regular one. So we'll store it for now. And potions. Uh, we can store the Magicka ones, of course. The All the Stamina ones as well. All right. And Soul Gems, we did have a couple... Uh, yeah, there we go. I had two of those. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and look at our time. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. Nice. We look awesome. I'm happy that we changed our outfit. I really like... I really like the, uh... It's fascinating, little child. Anyway... But uh, I really like that the Force Worn armor, but it's nice to be able to change because, you know, you wear the, you can only wear the same thing for so long, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, let's see. We could kind of work towards that pretty much. That's that's an option. Uh, this whole time, Mary Nerd and Nightcrawler Temple. Let's see. Don't Appraiser, Drinking Contest, Source of Power, Steal the Argonian Ale. Oh, we can actually do that. We can steal the Argonian Ale. Because obviously that's right inside the city. Obviously. I like how he waited so long until I was running past him a long way. Alright. Run inside. Hopefully it's not, you know, like right on the middle of the counter or something. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's easy. There you go, see? Hidden, just like that. Just like that. Hey, it's hobo, there you are. You I ain't done Here's nothing. that special ale you wanted. Well, would you look at that? Argonian ale. My thanks, friend. Here, take this here healing potion. I uh, found it in the temple. Ah, yes. I'll take your stolen healing potion. Thanks, bro. Sure, whatever. Nice. There, there we go. That was easy. All right. Uh, let's see. Source of power. Yarl Falkreath. Kill the bandit leader. Shroud Hearth Barrow. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Interesting. I wonder where is a uh, Red Eagle Sword specifically? 
Oh, okay. It's actually... Yeah, then of course that, the Forsworn in that mine is also super convenient. Okay, so there is a variety of things to do over there. Okay. Cool. Go ahead and unhighlight that. I was just mostly curious. Watch Beautiful. What you're doing. But you kissed my butt. How about that, punk? Anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a save. But yeah, we made some fantastic progress. We finished the main story of the companions. All that's left is to work on the werewolf totems. Uh, as well as, um, you know, spoiler alert. Um, Vilkus and Farkas want, will eventually are going to want their, their own werewolf cured. Um, so you can help them do that. And so that's what all the witches' heads in our inventory are for. Um, they're going to want their werewolf cured after a certain point. And so we'll help them do it. Ayla never wants hers cured, and I don't blame her. I don't want mine cured either. And, uh, yeah, so after a certain point. And, uh, yeah, and I think that's that's pretty much everything. Um, yeah, but otherwise, that's, like, the main, main story, other than, like, helping the Huey and Dewey get their crap cured and stuff like that. Other than that, um, that's the main story completed, pretty much. So, I think the other way that to get farther with them is to merely, um is to uh, just do like the the look for work and like do their little you know the little any quest that they give you and I think after a certain point they will they'll they'll bring it up I think it's why I think it's why uh, I think it's probably why Farkas was the only one with work um, is because it's kind of starting us down that little trail as you know is what I assume um, and uh, yeah so uh, I think that'll be a fantastic place for us to call it and uh, so tomorrow I don't know if I am recording a full a full normal day tomorrow I am pretty sure that I'll be able to finish my anime tonight and that means that tomorrow uh, even if I don't do a full recording day there will probably be a positive anime review tomorrow uh, even if I don't do a regular recording day. If I do a regular recording day, then I will, uh, then we'll be doing Skyrim as well. If I don't, then it'll probably just be the positive anime review. And, uh, we'll have to play it by ear, but if nothing else, I, th it's most likely gonna happen, so... That would not at all surprise me. Anyway, regardless though, that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later.